Welcome to Life Journey, Glory to God International. I'm your host, Theophilus McPherson. My email address is roaminternational247 at gmail.com. If you have a question or prayer, I'll be glad to answer your question and say a prayer for you. Or if you have a topic you want me to discuss, just email me. My samba today is St. John, the 10th chapter, verse number 10, and also 1 Thessalonians, 5th chapter, verse number one, number 2 and 3. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, so God bless this message. Oh God, let this message seek into the heart. This message is not about black people or white people. This is about people of, that have been oppressed for over 400 years. Bless the hearers, O oh God. Let them know that, O oh God. I'm saying this because it's writ was written in the Bible. O oh God, I love everybody. I don't care if you're white, you're black, you're Puerto Rico, Chinese, or Japanese. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believed on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Greater love have no man this that may lay down his life for his friend. Dear my friends, if you do whatsoever, I command you. Bless this message right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. St. John, the 10th chapter, verse number 10. And it read, The thief cometh not but to steal and to kill and destroy. I am come that they may have life and have it more abundantly. 1 Thessalonians 5, chapter, verse number 2 and 3. And it read, For yourself know perfectly that a day of the Lord so come as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and, and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Ten reasons why racism will never go away. Ten reasons why racism will never go away. Number one, we hate Jesus. Look at the way humanity going in our community and in our churches. Look at marriage and divorce rate. We do what we feel and and that's not right. Yes, reading and studying, which is the right way. Number two, we praise homosexuality and lesbianism movement. The black lies movement is not about black lies, but lies in our community, in our churches. Number three, we hail Satan in Hollywood. We sell our soul to Satan for riches, meaning millions a dollar contract. The Bible says, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul or give his change for his soul? Number four, we are high-minded. What? We are high-minded since we have degrees and look down on the poor and the nobodies. When we get rich, being black, we, we get married to the white woman, saying the sister is not good enough. So we leave the ghetto and move to the suburb, the white community. Number five, we, we are full of hoax, walking side by side and plotting to kill next month. Just turn off the body cam or kill at, the, at nighttime when no viewing from the iPhone. Number six, we prosecute or turn our sisters into hoe for entertainment rather, rather than promoting them on their job. We let them wear short dresses with no panties or bra. Sister, never let you, never sell your body for promotion because someone else coming in and you're going to be overlooked and they, and you going to say next. Number seven, we are horrified. What? We are horrified. The black race for 20, for 20, for 400 years. What? We are horrified. The black race for 400 years is not going to change because of, of protesting and looting our community. It's going to be here until Jesus Christ return for his bride, the church. Hey, glory to God. What I say? It's, going to, it's not going to be changed until Jesus Christ come for his bride, the church. Hold to God's unchanged hand. Number eight, when the last time, listen, when the last time we read, we read the book of Esther, Haman hated 
Mordecai, because Mordecai was a Jew. Mordecai sits at the king's gate, and Mordecai hate. Hallelujah. Uh, Haman hate Mordecai until one day, my friend. Hallelujah. Mordecai saw these two men when a conspiracy conspired to, to kill the king. Then the Bible say that one day the king remember Mordecai. Hey, glory to God. And Haman thought he was going to get promoted. He was coming in the same time to say, King, kill the Jews. So I'm telling people, my friend, hatred been going on over 400 years. They killed the Jews, Hitler, and, they're, and they, they're killing the black man on the streets. So have you, have you read the book of Esther? Haman hated the Jews. But guess what? The same gallow he built, they killed the 10 sons. All the 10 sons were hanged on a gallow. Number nine, black people are the most happiest people in the world. Though we are killed, we still love those who kill us each year. On our job, we get paid less and are qualified, but the color makes the difference, they say. Number 10, that the Holy Bible is our book of inspiration and insight and information how to deal with those who hearts hate and hang us. We must hold up our head and be like David. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continue to be my mouth. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Who oh, magnify the Lord with us? Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We, we, we are like David. This is a day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I tell people, my friend, 10 reasons why racism will never go away until Jesus return back as a conqueror, as a judgment upon the beast, upon Satan. Racism is Satan's plan to kill those who are righteous, those who are right before God. So I'm telling people all over the world, racism will never go away. When I say racism will never, 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 never go away until Jesus come back. Did I read the scripture for you? The, the Bible say, the thief cometh, but for to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus come, come that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Today, my friend, if you are not saved, get saved. What I say, if you are not saved, get saved. Accept Jesus Christ in your life because, my friend, don't leave home without it. Everybody that dies is not going to heaven. What I say, everybody that dies is not going to heaven. Who going to heaven, preacher? Those who have clean hands and pure heart, those who are born again is going to heaven. Going to church don't make you go to heaven. But those that live right, talk right, act right, dress right is going to heaven one day.